Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to RealClearPolling.com, we have a new updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and sub for more election maps. Alright, RealClearPolling.com. This is the source that we use. People say that our uh, maps are biased and that we make up numbers and we're not using sources. We cite our sources in every video, mostly at the beginning Usually when we go to battleground states, we cite our source five or six or seven times, depending on how many battleground states there are. We don't make these numbers up. We take them from the websites that we cite at the beginning or the end of the video and in between states. So according to Real Clear Polling's national Trump versus Harris, um, Harris is at 49.1% with a 2.2 lead to Trump's 469 Scrolling down more, you'll see the top battlegrounds, Trump versus Harris, Trump has 48.4%, which is a 0.1 lead, to Harris' 48.3. Now on to the ABC election map. They have an interactive uh, election map on their website. ABC News is everybody's favorite news network after the Trump versus Harris debate. Everyone loves it. Their numbers have skyrocketed after that debate because nothing could have possibly gone wrong during it. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue. For Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, which is a contested battleground state with six electoral votes, is currently having Harris at 1.1 lead. Therefore, the six electoral votes are blue for Kamala Harris. Arizona, with its 11 electoral votes, is also a battleground state. Trump currently has a 1.4 lead there, nabbing him those sacred 11 electoral votes, it being red. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with 5 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with 3 electoral votes is Red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska with five electoral votes. The state at large is red for Donald J. Trump with one district being blue, but that's not on this map, so we cannot fill it in. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Tampon 10. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral votes, a battleground state, currently has Harris at a 0.8 lead, nabbing her those sacred 10 electoral votes. It is blue for Kamala Harris. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, has Harris in the lead by 0.7. Therefore, she gets the sacred 15 electoral votes. Michigan is blue for Kamala Harris. Trump needs to flip Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania in order to win the election. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with ten electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, with 
16 electoral votes. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.5 point lead there, nabbing him those sacred 16 electoral votes. Georgia is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. RealClearPolling.com has North Carolina, Trump, a 0.6 lead. Therefore, North Carolina's 16 electoral votes currently goes to Donald J. Trump with his 0.6 lead. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, it is in a deadlock tie, 48.2% for Harris, 48.2% for Trump for the last two weeks. The 19 electoral votes are in the air right now. Donald Trump needs Pennsylvania in order to win the election. Kamala Harris needs Pennsylvania in order to solidly secure her win in the election. Therefore, it will not be colored in, according to RealClearPolling.com. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. And Maine, most of Maine, is red. It flip-flops between blue and red. The, the state itself is red for Donald J. Trump. The districts are not labeled on this map, so we cannot fill them in. They're about one or two votes apiece, and they'd be for Kamala Harris. The rest of the map is blue for Kamala Harris. That includes New Hampshire, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Delaware, Massachusetts, and the like. This currently puts Donald J. Trump at 266 electoral votes, Kamala Harris at 250 with toss-ups in the middle for the districts that did not show up on this interactive map. Donald J. Trump is winning according to RealClearPolling.com. Baby, who do you want to win? Trump. Why? To make America great. And that's all she wrote. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. RealClearPolling.com.